Let's go over some tips and glitches for the hardest event ever in Legend of Slime history, that being the Bluebird Saga. We only have 23 hours left, but this should give you enough time to use these glitches and tips to at least accelerate you a few more stages so you get the tier reward. Obviously, I haven't done that yet. I started the event around two days late because usually these events are so easy to do. They normally take a day to complete and were only gated by the time limit each gate has to unlock the next stage which is usually a day after so this event should only take around three or four days at most you're just waiting for the stages to unlock not actually to get enough damage to be the stages but anyways let's go over it and just as a reminder if you have yet to unlock love cat drop down your furrow code in the comment section below or in our discord server as well if you're subscribed to the channel i'll pin your code to the top of the video that way it gets seen and used much quicker and also because we hit the 30,000 subscriber mark this is the final video i'm going to announce the giveaway on $50 either to Google Play or Apple App Store or just sent to directly. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is comment down below on this video or our last Legend of Slime video. Be subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out if you've won and leave a like to show your support. I also have a separate giveaway on my Soul Leveling Rise videos so do check that out if you're interested. So one of the most obvious tips is to never obtain the bonus here until you've pushed the highest stage possible that ensures you get the highest gold amount so make sure to always press OK when when you log in first that way you don't lose out on any potential gold the chest will go back here in a few minutes so you can claim it again don't worry you didn't lose out by not pressing obtain and one huge tip i should mention is that you're probably noticing i'm losing stages left and right and there's no hope in sight to get them back well let me show you something very interesting if you've noticed you've dropped a bunch of stages and you're having trouble in climbing back to where you were before all you have to do is exit the event go back to it and enter one more and you'll see we're back on stage 26 and now we're fighting the boss well what exactly happened there i'll show you exactly what's going on first we're going to lose a stage so i can show you exactly what i mean once our slime skill and skills go off the enemies should be able to push right into us and defeat us so there we go you can see they did that and we're going to go back to the stage boss battle we're going to beat it so i can show you exactly how this works but i don't think we can actually beat this boss so we'll have to do it on the next next boss coming up so let's go ahead and do that we're exiting again going back to the event jumping back in and you see we're on stage 26 so that's one useful tip so you don't waste your time and i'll show you the other tip in just a moment first we're going to redeem today's rewards we are at the highest stage we can currently reach so we can use our throws to get some additional gold and damage because clearly we do need it that way i can get enough damage to beat the next stage boss and show you exactly what i mean by this very interesting glitch so we got our throws in hopefully we get enough damage honestly it's a bit of a pain seeing as though this event hardly gives us any boost that should be enough for a stage or two anyways let's do the exit glitch again we're going to hop back into our highest stage jump to the stage boss panel we should be able to beat it let's see if we can and no we're just going to have to spam but unfortunately we did get some gold so let's use that this attack boost should give us a bit more damage hopefully that'll be enough and what's with the cost of crit quest 40 is so hard to complete they really didn't think too much about the scaling for this event the rewards don't really match up to difficulty and because the enemies defeated us there again we're gonna exit and repeat just give it a few moments and i'll show you the other glitch that i'm talking about it's just as useful as this one so hopefully we can be the boss here let's see what will happen and no we need more damage of course let's pump up our attack and also pump up our crit hopefully this will finally be enough Let's jump back to the stage boss. This event is honestly so annoying and just shy of a bit more damage. Let's try that one more time. The good thing is there's actually another glitch that comes with rage. It has a stacking effect. So every time you do run back into the stage boss battle, the effect keeps on stacking. At least that's the information I've gotten from everyone who mentions this. I haven't really rushed in to check, but I'm assuming it works as we're getting more and more damage in. So every time you jump in, rage does stack over and over again with ruby's effect stacking on and there we go okay so the next glitch i want to show you is let's say you use all your skills up and you're having troubles pushing further on hopefully we lose to the enemies here and we didn't so let's hope we beat the stage boss so i can attempt to show you that glitch at least we are pushing stages which is nice and yeah there we go so hopefully the enemies beat us actually i'm going to turn off my skills so i can finally show you what i mean <clears throat> so let's say the enemies are pushing on to you and you can't defeat them this is what you do you get seven 
back to the previous stage, push as far as you can, and then once you reach that third battle, for example, just so I can show you, you can exit, and then wait, hop back into the event, and you'll be on the next stage's third battle, that means you skip the first two, watch what happens when I enter, see right here, stage 28, we're on that final stage, now we get the boss, so it's a very useful glitch to skip the first few battles, that way you rush to the boss right away, and you don't lose to the normal enemies, you can do that to the normal enemies for every single stage, that means you should realistically have no issues getting to the stage bosses, since you can just glitch through all the enemies, one by one, exiting out, getting all your skill refreshes, having your slime skill up, and then you just jump back in, and repeat until you reach your stage boss, and then that's the point where you'll be locked in, obviously if you can't be the stage boss, you can't technically glitch through it, you can only wait until you have more damage, or use the ruby rage glitch, so hopefully we beat the stage boss, because we're so close to that tier reward, and there we go, so you see, you can just keep hopping in and in over and over again, and have the stacking effect of rage kick in, and we have to get all these quests, that crit quest was such a pain, we needed so much gold to unlock it, meanwhile the next few quests were so easy to do, and yeah, we're just going to keep repeating the stage boss battle, these glitches will definitely help us out, who knew spamming could give us more damage, and then once we reach the highest stage we can possibly reach, we're going to use all our throws, that'll give us more of a boost, to hopefully beat the stage boss, and yeah, you see we're probably gonna die there, so I'm gonna exit, I'm going to hop back in, we're going to go straight to the final stage, and push it very easily as all our skills have refreshed, there we go, so there are some tricks you can use to beat this event, obviously not beat fully, unless you plan on spending the currency to get more throws, which is not recommended, why would you waste diamonds for this event, when the rewards aren't even that good, diamonds are one of the rarest resources we have, so definitely don't waste them on this event, it is not ideal, it'll be a complete waste, diamonds should only be used for magic items, since any progress you get for this event will be wiped, so what's the point in spending diamonds for something you won't keep at the end of the day, so I think we might be able to beat stage 30, I want to beat it before I use up all my throws, and I don't think we'll actually be able to, so let's use our throws, get in all those bonus materials, hopefully this will give us the damage we need to at least beat this final stage, stage 4 is completely not happening, I don't think anyone's actually beat it, unless they've spent diamonds on throws, there's just no possible way it's doable, this event is literally mission impossible, and yeah let's get all this sweet sweet damage, I think with this we might be able to beat stage 3, obviously stage 3 isn't impossible, I just started a little bit late, so I'm lacking that damage I need, so let's hop back in using our glitch, I don't want to start from stage 27, I want to start from our max, there we go, hopping in, we're going to go straight to the stage boss battle, and this should do it, and there we go, so we only have a few stages left, hopefully these steps will be helpful for you, with the event, at least the last reward, is only the slime stones, they are a bit useful, I think we'll get 15 from this event, so it's not a huge loss, chapter 4 is just way too hard, at least beating chapter 3 is very useful, you'll get your slime tears, I'm guessing it's either 40 or 60 total slime tears, which is very needed, especially if you are free to play, so let's see if we can get all the way to stage 40 to beat this event, and you saw there we couldn't do it, so we have to use that glitch again I mentioned earlier, hop back in, get at least 2 stages in, and then once we push those 2 stages, which should happen in just a second, actually no it didn't happen, so we're gonna hop back in again, and then we'll start on stage 1, all our skills will be refreshed, there we go, and hop back out, go back into the event, again it's a very tedious process, hopping back in and out constantly, we're just going to keep on doing it until we reach the stage boss, and then spam repeating to take advantage of Rage and Ruby, so there we go, we're at the stage boss, let's see, can we also beat this one, and no, we gotta keep doing our stacks, hopefully the devs give the individuals who purchase a pass for this event some compensation, because this is just not doable, unless it was their plan to get us to use diamonds for additional throws on this event, I don't think that's the case, I'm pretty sure they just didn't check the event to see if it's completely doable, because clearly based on what everyone's been saying, it's not happening anytime soon, it's honestly funny how the devs gave us hard content, something I've been asking for, but not a new right mode, we don't want it in an event, that's impossible to do, we want it in our regular activities in the game, that's where the fun does come from, progressing and getting more damage, to beat a boss that is very difficult, not a limited time event, where we're relying on the rewards we get through it, since 
since time limited events should always be doable they should never be impossible otherwise you're literally just teasing your player base showing them things they can't get at all which isn't how events should work so hopefully we all get some compensation they should honestly send us those slime stones since we're clearly missing out there's no way we can realistically get them let me know in the comments if you actually beat this event or not i highly doubt anyone's beat it again unless they've spent any diamonds which is not ideal you're basically paying for those crappy event rewards which is not what you want to do and it looks like stage 32 is probably going to be my cap i do need to lock out on some damage i might as well use my throws i have 15 let's see can we do it and nope let's go ahead and use my throws i'm a little bit impatient it's fine if i miss out on a tiny tiny bit of gold i'd rather just push through this event as fast as possible uh, again if you've played through previous bluebird saga events and events like this you know for a fact they were extremely easy to do and interesting we're about to unlock sparrow figurine uh, i wonder if it's going to activate a lot we'll have to see as we only have one bird i believe that being the blue bird for this event let's unlock all this damage level up our bird hopefully we can push a little bit further and i totally forgot to use my upgrades let's go ahead and do that this should give us the last little push we need hopefully and also don't worry about getting double shot and triple shot they are useful just don't waste all your gold on it you can level them up a bit they do become very costly so watch your gold spending they don't provide a major damage bonus but they do provide something noticeable especially when it procs so let's exit jump back into the stage boss and i think this video has been long enough i'm going to cut to my final stage that way you know how far i've reached in this event so you don't feel bad if you're not able to be the event clearly if i'm having issues that means this event is not easy to do at all but hopefully these glitches and tips will push you into the right direction that way you'll finally be able to be the event and get the rewards you need and one thing i just noticed running through the bosses is that the boss keeps stuttering i know that's from bunny's knockback but sometimes the sage boss just completely stomps in their tracks i wonder if i can replicate it it happened to me earlier the sage boss just completely stopped moving similar to that glitch i mentioned earlier hopefully happens again and come on can we beat the sage boss here i just want to pass all the way through stage three and we're just so close and see the stage boss completely stopped that's very interesting that's a very very interesting glitch it might be because of bunny i have no idea why that happened so i guess we have three glitches for this event who knew we could possibly do that though i don't know how to replicate that glitch some form of knockback issue i guess maybe the attack speed i honestly have no idea why i can't think of a reason if you know why let us know in the comments so we can take advantage of it and we just have one final stage left can we finally just beat it i think i should have enough damage i have a bunch of throws left but these enemies are so tough to do without our exit and re-enter glitch honestly i don't think i could do this event so let's just keep popping in and out i probably have to do it for every single stage i'm 100 sure all of you will be using this glitch once you do see this video without it it's basically impossible to push and with it you gain a bunch of stages so you saw there we're just going to exit go back in get all our skill refreshes uh, until we reach stage 40 and there we go i don't think we have enough damage let's see do we and wow this is a tough stage boss we're only able to get them to half their hp let's farm up all these throws then maybe we'll have enough hopefully the next few quests are easy that way we stack up on our throws and all right we've maximized the amount of throws we can get the next quest is obviously not happening anytime soon so let's take all these throws in and get the last bit of damage we can possibly get from this event and it looks like stage four is impossible stage three is clearly doable i was able to do it or at least i will be able to do it in a second and i did pick gent for our next slime i'm assuming they'll double our damage so this is basically a free cheat code to getting a bunch of extra damage in so the next stage boss should be super easy to do let's jump in and defeat them i have no worries that we're able to do it now gent please activate your skill and gent come on where's your skill does he even activate it i guess our skills go in order or maybe they're not i don't see gent using a skill at all did i miss the animation let's see am i just going crazy i must be missing the animation i don't see it at all very strange anyways let's take this skill chest i wonder if it works for the event if it does then we should be able to beat it jumping back in for the 150th time can we beat the stage 40 boss and here we go are we going to beat it it just approaches us so fast and look it, it's stuck again the glitch happened once more i wonder if it's a knockback issue with bunny very interesting
having anyone please in the comments let us know if you know why the boss glitches out that's basically the sole reason why i beat the event and it looks like we get 40 slime tears what an absolute pain this event is i don't think there's any way to beat this i don't even think i'm gonna try i'm probably gonna stop it here since stage four is yet yeah, clearly not happening so definitely use these glitches if you're having issues with beating chapter three and don't waste your time on chapter four happiness is not here it is not defeatable anyways be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video leave a comment with your referral code and any information you have this is zaf signing out